This is my JVC Addiction, the second version. What I wanted to do was basically extend this microphone port and create like an external mic. So what I plan on doing is taking this mic out and making basically an, a female adapter that sticks out and I could plug in an external mic. Took out these four little screws right here, one, two, three, and four. I seen somebody else had a video up, but they didn't uh, walk through the process. They just uh, took a few screenshots. I took those out. You also would have to undo the door, which was a pain. I didn't have any uh, any screwdrivers that were small enough. This one and this one was hard as hell. I can take those out. And of course, your little ring up front comes out as well. You should be able to open up your camera like so. But just make sure that, you know, take your time with it and don't rip nothing apart. Oh, and I must say that uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't want nobody coming after me because your camera broke. All I'm about to do is cut the microphone wire, which is right here. And if this doesn't work, it's no big deal because the microphone on this thing was already sucky as hell. This is the front of the camera, or the lens is right here. As you can see, the lens is right here. This is the front of the camera, and this is our microphone right here. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and try to cut as far as I can up in there with either a razor or whatever, as far as I can. And now we got that cut, and here's our wire right here. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and find some other wire as small as I can and splice it to this strip of these two wires right here just to get some of that uh, copper showing. I stole this from an uh, old computer. It was the microphone jack attached to the uh, to the board itself, to the, um, to the computer board. Took my red and black wires and spliced those together to this regular wire right here. And it's a little bit thicker gauge than the one that came with the camera. Solder these up to make sure we have a solid connection then put some shrink wrap or uh, some electrical tape around it. Just got the two wires all nice and soldered up. As you can see right there. And I uh, took some shrink wrap, put it on top, but like I told you earlier, this um, these wires are small as hell. So the shrink wrap isn't exactly fitting over it perfectly so what I'm gonna do is I got this on it just to protect it I'm gonna go ahead and fill this, these two top holes with some hot glue you have enough space you know for this to lay anywhere along this board right here I'm just gonna drill a hole right here to the bottom just like that going out on an angle that should put me on the outside somewhere around here far away from the screen I went on ahead and uh, drilled that hole and it came out the side right about here and I was able to clear all of the major components on the inside and I'm about to install the door back those two screws right there just install the back door as you can see everything's still working and also I put some hot glue on the other side of this wire right here on the inside right where it exit out just to try to help you know water seal it a little bit now this right here this would be good you know if I'm on my motorcycle in the rain I wouldn't have to worry about you no know, water getting on the inside of here because water's gonna roll down this way in the way. You can see everything still work. Now what I'm doing is soldering the little female end microphone uh, jack. And before you put this on, you wanna get your shrink wrap. This is a quarter inch. This is 3 16th shrink wrap. The only thing that's holding this together is that small little wire, which if I sneeze, that'll come apart. So I'm using that shrink wrap plus I'm a, Take some, find another method, probably some thread, some needle and thread, and uh, wrap it around the whole thing to make sure that when I pull on this, that I don't pull the wire out itself. So I'm just soldering these two wires to here. I put some shrink wrap on there just to make it rigid a little bit. And I came back with some regular um, thread and thread. I started, I tied a knot at the very bottom, worked my way up, tied a couple of uh, X um, patterns over it, over around the top and back just to secure it, you know, so when I pull this out, or when somebody else pulls it, in theory, it should hold it pretty good. I put like a thin coat of high glue over all this as well. And there we have it. Finally done. Here's how it looked. I went ahead and put shrink wrap around here and up here. It looks uh, pretty clean. So now it's sturdy as hell. I could pull on this all day and night and it won't come apart. 
and the length that I have mine cut it from the back of the camera to right here. You just say uh, seven inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just say seven inches. Stir this hill. After I pierced it through this hole on the exterior of the camera right here, went around through this uh, tether hole right here. Look, like a glove. Cut the mic from right here, extend it out the back, external mic, just like that. So they should give me enough cord, you know, to drop back around and hide under here and connect to any universal 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. So if y'all have any questions, just let me know and I'll get right back at you. Thanks for watching.